Hi everyone and welcome again to our episode of San Juan Adventure. In today's video, we will talk about the industry of meat worker around the world. Kung booming pa ba ang pagiging butcher and bakit ko sisimulan ang career sa pagkakatay. So I'm your host, Sean Deman. And today's vlog, I will share my opinion and facts of becoming a Filipino butcher. So let's go. So industry analysis muna tayo. Ang global meat Industry ngayon is expected to rise from 897 billion US dollar in 2021 to over 1.3 trillion dollars by 2027 in revenue. So meaning ganyan kalaki ang meat industry sa buong mundo ngayon. Ang United States ang pinakauna sa listahan on meat con on annual meat consumption. And pangatlo dyan ang Australia sa mga bansang always meat ang nasa menu nila. Alam naman natin na ang karne ay isa sa mga importanteng source of nutrition ng tao. And ang demand nito sa buong mundo ay tumataas over the years. Isipin nyo ha, the world needs to produce 350 million tons every year. Dahil sa growing population ng mundo. And dito sa amin, sa Queensland, Australia, ang pinakamalaking na-produce na beef for the last 2020 statistics. Na umabot ito ng 1,105 metric tons ng karne. Maunang, andama na nang imuha mga kutsilyurya o imuha mga kamot kay kung bati na kita dali. Ah. Meron tayong 133 accredited abattoirs dito sa Australia and 29 dyan ay nanggaling sa Queensland. And don't worry mga mates, marami pa ang baka ang sasalubong sa inyo dito. Halos magkapareho lang ang dami ng tao at ang baka dito sa Australia. So relax lang kayo dyan. So ganito na lang mate. Imagine mo ha, sa dati ko ng company, sometimes we slaughtered 1,300 cattle per day. So pag ginamit ko ang aking brain cells to calculate the marinade. So let's be conservative. Tanggalin natin yung 26 days na shutdown. So pag kinampute mo yan, nasa mga almost more or less 400,000 cattle per year. Ganyan kadami ang kinakatay namin dito ever. So good luck sa mga kasiyo natin at ang ating mga hands and mga nails. So booming? Booming! Boomer boom! Boomer boom! boom. Second gen is innovation and training to become a butcher. So, for me, over the years, uh, innovation and training to become a butcher is transforming over time and opens opportunities for businesses like training centers, review centers, agencies dyan sa Philippines. Kasi dyan mo makikita na uh, booming yung industry pag maraming businesses ang sumusulpot or nag open to serve the applicants. Kasi back in the days, Walang gusto maging butcher dahil sa, you know, nature ng trabaho na Ew, it's so kagiri and it's so babaho and it's so not really sikat. So share ko lang mga mate ha, dati pag may IELTS ka lang, pwede ka na mag-trade test. And may chance kang manalo ng visa. Anyway, just joking. Pwede ka nang makuha ng asesor na pumupunta dyan sa slaughter natin. Nowadays, over the years, nag-transform na ito. And naging, naging optimus farm na siya. By the way, transform na talaga yung butchering sa pagiging premium OFW. Bakit ko bang sinabing premium OFW? Premium OFW, kasi ang tawag sa amin noon is walking millionaire. Ha? Sasabihan ka ba naman ng 250,000 ang monthly mo every month? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, here are the ways na nag-evolve na talaga ang butchering sa, sa Pinas. Una-una dyan is napansin ko yung training centers. I was amazed na yung initiative ng ibang review centers dyan and I have a friend who is owning uh, a review center. Instead of IELTS lang in-offer niya dun sa mga applicants, he also offers sharpening skills, my course siya in how to sharpen your knives, and also how to debone. So isang magandang move yan para mas matulungan natin yung mga aspiring butchers natin dyan sa Pilipinas. And that is a big good job for me. You, my friend, I know you and you know me. And you know everybody in the world. Is technique and strategies. Over the years, ang technique and strategies sa pag-perform sa slaughtering operation ay iba sa noon. Kesa ngayon. So, mas less na ngayon ang chance if kulang ang preparation mo 
sa trade test. Gaya na nang bagit ko, pag may IELTS ka lang noon, natapos mo yung training sa sa city, physically fit ka and marunong ka mag-English, ay pwede ka nang kunin ng assessor. Pero dahil ngayon, sa dami ng applicants, lalong naging competitive ito. But the good side of the coin is, mas lalo pa tayong makakaproduce ng mga quality butchers dyan sa Pinas. So if you are interested and you are motivated today, I want to become a butcher. So may papakita ko ng mga training centers na pwede niyong puntahan para magtanong kung paano mag-apply and matundo ng butchering. Yeah. <laughs> Talent and Workforce Development. So, in addition to Training Center's initiative, napakalaga talaga na ma-insure natin ang skills na ating ma-offer around the world. Alam niyo ba na mas marami na ngayon ang pumupunta na company dyan sa Slaughter sa Pinas? Hindi lang Australia, kundi UK at Canada na ay my opportunity. Dapat alamin talaga natin yung mga training programs na in-offer ng government natin at mga private sectors that cover all aspects of meat processing, including safety protocols, hygiene standards, meat handling techniques, equipment operation, and quality control procedures para ma-insure na lahat ng mga nade-deploy abroad is a very competitive meat worker. Hindi masyadong mahalata na uh, nagbabasa ako. It's very, very, very taas. So, sustainability of being a butcher abroad. So, for me, there are stability na kailangan nating malaman. First is personal sustainability. Anticipate mo talaga at the first day, you know that this gonna be a bloody, bloody day. So, kailangan prepare yung katawan natin, prepare yung mental natin. Kasi pag once, pag once na nagka-momentum ka ng negativity and yung circle mo is also learning the industry and also um, uh, starting. Pareho-pareho kayo lahat eh. Yung sa isang bahay, isang company house, pareho-pareho kayo lahat. Pareho-pareho kayong pagod sa trabaho, pareho-pareho kayong nasaktan, <laughs> nabigo, at naawi. Naawi, awi, yes, papa! So pag ganon, Talagang your mental at saka yung heart mo is very important. So, economical sustainability. Pwede kayo magtanong sa mga kakilala nyo or uh, mga kapamilya na nag-butcher na. Pwede nyo tanongin if maganda ba yung sahod, ano ba yung mga, mga kailangan kong i-prepare doon sa bansa na pupuntahan mo. It's either UK, uh, US, Canada, or here in Australia. Kailangan natin i-evaluate kung ano yung mga cost of livings, lifestyles, culture, kung fit ba tayo dyan, uh, Ano ba yung mga hobbies ko? Like, uh, here in Australia, it's like kind of lit, Mike, because we have a lot of beaches here. Beaches! But anyway, yeah, marami masyadong uh, beaches dito. 11,000 beaches namin. Uh, we have, here in Queensland, we have Sunshine Coast and Gold Coast. And very, 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 very cold. But anyway, guys, yeah, very important important na evaluate natin yung mga ganun na mga instances. And kagaya dito sa Australia, uh, lahat ng mga tropa natin ng mga butcher is nakakutsi. And may mga sariling bahay na rin. And mostly sa kanila, nakuha na din nila yung family nila. And that is very important because Australia loves family. Family, 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 family every year. Um, Australia support meat workers from other countries, mostly Philippines. Kasi, Philippines, kasi they think that Filipinos are very family-oriented. And if the company will give them a chance to bring their family. They will be a super scion tree and they will not stop working. They will work seven days, but it's not allowed. Help center, can I can I work seven days? Ah, balat ng utang. But other than that, bukod sa hard working tayo sa trabaho, marunon din tayo sa salitang wikang English. We don't have this called a language barrier. We can speak, even though it's Carabao English there and that, but as long as you understand, yes, boss, yes, boss, yes, boss. So that's a plus factor. That's why Australia give PR, permanent residency. So they give permanent residency sa mga meat workers. And pag resident ka na, ang dami mo ng benefit na makukuha from the government. And pag-uusapan natin yan sa ibang video. Government and fly! Fly, 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 the butterfly! Bona flex! So, looking ahead, Mike, isang rewarding job ang pagiging meat worker abroad. 
Yes, may mga challenges along the way, pero kaya lang yan. Basta kung ang kapalit naman ay future ng family mo, give them a good life. So, all in tayo dyan. Basta alam lang natin kung saan lang ang kaya natin. Huwag natin kalitin. Stay focused sa yung success. Huwag mo lang isipin ang iniisip na ibang tao. Hayaan mo sila. Hayaan mo sila. Hayaan mo sila. Hayaan mo. Ambulansya. Let's check out. But anyway, so ang prediction ko sa mga coming years ay dadami pa ang pupunta dyan sa Spinas para kumuha ng mga meat workers. Hindi isang company or isang bansa lang ang pupunta dyan. Pag once na makaproduce tayo ng mga quality butcher through the years, pupunta at pupunta yan sila. So as we wrap up today's vlog, I hope may nakuha kayo information kahit walang information sa mga topics na na-share ko. Remember mga may that invest in your time on learning the craft. Prioritize yourself and your family. Hindi sa iba and don't hesitate to ask questions or collaborate sa mga co-trainees mo. And if may tanong kayo regarding butchering, just comment down below. Baka pwede natin masagot. And also, thank you for tuning in in today's vlog. You can also check our other videos that here in the left, here and the right. But don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more videos like this. So, mga lang sa tonight. See you in the next video.